How many of us have been in places where we're against hope? It's coming. It's coming on us. We need to stand and believe in our God. I'll say it again. Who against hope? What did he do? He believed in hope. What did he believe in? He believed in what God had told him. Yes. That's the only thing we got to do, beloved. That's the only thing we got. We don't have no. We don't have nothing to believe in other than what God's promises are. Right. We don't need nothing else. They're sufficient. Amen. Who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations. According, listen, it goes right back to it again. According to that which was spoken, yes. everything that he did was based upon what God had promised him. There was no other foundation for him believing anything. So shall thy seed be, and being not weak in faith. And we're not weak in faith. We were, some of us men were talking today of a fellowship. The Lord blessed it. We'll have the faith that we need whenever the the thing comes, the situation comes, like Phil mentioned to us in in the past here. We don't need to have the faith now, but when we need it, God will give it to us. Everything we need is in Christ. This is what was spoken. When the trial, when when we come to the Red Sea, He'll give us faith to believe in Him. Everything that comes our way, I don't care if it's if it's uh, this whole world going against us. It don't make any difference. That's the whole thing. Look at what how God was magnified in our eyes last night. And that wasn't just a uh, that just wasn't theory. That just wasn't playing. That was the truth. Who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken. So shall thy seed be. And being not weak in faith, he considered not. This is part of our, part of the enemy's tactics with us. He comes to us and he begins to get us to consider. Consider this. Exactly what he did to Eve in the garden. Consider this. Don't go by what God said. Don't eat of the tree. Con- well, thou shalt not. Sure. Consider this. You see what I'm saying? The things, the trials that we go through, it's, a, it's, a, it's an absolute tactic of the enemy to try to get us to, to get to a place where we don't believe what God said. We don't need to be deterred by that. We, don't need, to, we need to have our face like a flint. Yeah. Where we, and, and we need to be like an old mule that has blinders on his side where we can't even see anything. Yeah. We need to be so focused on the Lord, we can't even see to the left or the right. It don't make a difference. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body. Now dead. He knew his body was dead. From a natural standpoint, there was no hope. But he believed God's word. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body. Now dead when he was about 100 years old. Who in the right mind? Who in the right mind? would think that there was something, can, some life could come out of a 100-year-old man. You see, that's our problem. We reason with a natural mind. When we get in that realm, beloved, when we get in the realm of the, of the natural, I'm telling you, the enemy can do whatever he wants. We've got to be more spiritually minded concerning the things of God. We've got to be more serious about what we're doing. As has been said, I believe, last night, be more wholehearted into what we're a part of. Neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb, he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. He staggered not at it through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. And being halfway, hoping, wondering wondering whether God was going to honor what his word says. Beloved, this is our examples. This is what we got to be like. And we're not depending on ourselves. It's what it is, is our hearts. Our hearts have got to come out of this world and be turned toward him completely. And being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able to perform. And therefore, it was imputed to him for righteousness. That's how we please God. We please God by believing him. Now, it was not written for his sake alone. That it was imputed to him, but for us also. He was an example to us that we ought to follow after him. If we believe on him that raised up Jesus, our Lord from the dead, who was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification, therefore, 
being justified by faith, we have peace with God. I want to get to one part down here. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we, all, we have access by faith. That's the only way we're going to be able to, to, to walk, beloved. We're going to have to believe God's word. Have faith in this grace wherein we stand. That's the only way we can stand, beloved. Amen. There is no other way. There's no, you can't go by your feelings. You can't go by what you see. It's only by faith in what God says. And not only so, but we glory in tribulation also, knowing that tribula tribulation worketh patience. That was the word that come to me. Is our fight is going to be to the death. Yes. To the death. Whatever God requires of us. We have to have our mind, get a mindset. We might as well be a mindset yes. that we're going to fight this fight, fight of faith unto the death. Whatever God wants out of our life, it needs to be totally surrendered. I, 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 don't, I don't know what more, what he wants from me anymore. All I can offer is what he brings to, brings to my attention and says, this is what I want. Amen. But I want to lay it down, beloved. I want to stand, I want to stand for God. Amen. And I want him to be my only hope, yeah. to be my source of strength in a time of need, Amen. my help. Yeah. Because I know, listen, there's, there's examples here from, from Genesis 1, 1 to Revelation 22, 21, where God was faithful to his people. But we need to believe him. And it all goes back to those, they died in the wilderness. Why? It's because of unbelief. They never really, they saw the, they saw the miracles of God. They partook of the, of the, of the, the manna, but they never believed him. I challenge us here tonight, because I know we're a mixed multitude. There's, there's some here. God is going to shake not only earth, but also heaven. 